Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Aurelie Kazum. Thank you so much for staying tuned to Outstanding Academy. All right, today we're looking at uh, Neko Chemistry Particle, but this time I'll be looking at titration. The acid given now is HNO3 of 6.3. CMQ to be dissolved in one ton of same cube, and uh, the base given is Na2CO3 of 5.5 gram per dm cube. So I'm going to be walking you through how to uh, calculate the the expected title value. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please quickly do that and click notification button. So anytime I post a new video, you will be duly notified. Thank you very much. Let's quickly dive in. So we have our dilution factor. You can see the dilution factor there. Can see the addition factor, yeah. That's C1V1 is equal to C2V2, and we have our C1 uh, from the stock calculation of HNO3 to be 15.8, and our V1 to be 6.3. And we are looking for uh, our V, our, our um, C2. So let's really move on on how to calculate. And our vinyl volume is what is 1000 you can see 1000 there so when you substitute correctly we are going to have 0 0.0995 more per dmq of the acid the acid is h and 3 now let's look at our base the molar mass of our base is 23 times 2 plus 12 plus 16 times 3 everything gives us a total of 106 uh, gram per mole so if you use conch in more per dmq it goes to conch in gram per dmq of our molar mass we're going to be having our 5.5 okay divided by 106 which give us a total of what 0.0519 more per dmq of the base so let's quickly look at our balanced chemical uh equation the reaction is uh between hno3 you can see hno3 there and uh, na2co3 give us 2NaNO3 plus H2O plus CO2 gas being given us. So we have 2 ratio 1, 2 ratio 1 of the acid to base in the reaction. So let's look at the parameters of our CA, our VA, our CB, our VB. In my school, I use 25 CMQ. In your school, you might be using 20. But for this titration experiment, for this video, we are going to be using 25 all through this particular video. So our Na number of mole of acid from the balanced chemical equation is 2 while that of what? of uh, NB is 1 so using Kavana we are going to be having our expected data value calculated value to be 26.10 so tutors please take note if you don't know how to uh, calculate this I'll walk you through how to uh, do it so next time you uh, know what to do so students Teachers, let's look at expected questions on Monday. Question number one. A is 0 0.100 more per dmq of HNO3. That's our acid. B is a solution containing 15 gram per dmq of a mixture of NaNO3 and Na2CO3. Put A into the bread and titrate it against 20 CMQ of 25. For the purpose of this video, we are going to be using 25. All true. So take note. Our VA our VB rather will be 25 all through this video. So material you are using material as an indicator. All right. So repeat the addition to obtain consistent other value. Tablet your bullet reading and calculate the average volume of A used. All right. Now look at the expected what title value. Okay. As we arrive from our calculated value, we are going to be using 26.10 all through this video okay we don't understand uh how the mark the table just revert to this video then yeah, i posted that video so uh you know how to uh prepare your table student take note so i'll be using any of these two and use first and second you can use 26.10 26.10 divided by 2 giving 20.10 okay in echo remark this thing as follow three marks three marks one mark and one mark that's 8 marks for table in Neko if it's YX is 10 marks, but well, for Neko is 8 marks. Let's move to the next one. 
from the result and the information provided above, calculate the cohesion of Na2CO3 in B mole per dmq, cohesion of Na2CO3 in gram per dmq, percentage by mass of Na2 in the mixture, and the mass of NaNO3 in the mixture. Now, solution to the question asks, question number one, cohesion of Na2CO3 in B in mole per dmq. We're going to be using Carvana. Okay, and this is our analysis. You can see the parameter down here. Then substitute the value respectively. I'm going to have your CB to be what? To be 0 0.0522 more per DMQ. Remember, is two, three significant figure to get your mark. Oh, since it's Neko, how to mark this one? You have one mark for ratio, one mark for X substitution, one mark for uh, total of formula, and one mark for final answer that's question number one question number two quickly mass of na2 uh co3 in gram per dmq let's calculate the molar mass the molar mass is 106 gram per mole uh using conky mole per dmq i uh, cooking gram per over molar mass so uh, per cup mole per dmq is 0 0.25 0 0.0522 mole per dmq then multiply when you do that you cross multiply go to our 5.53 gram per dmq of b now, percentage by mass of any 2 co 3 in the mixture. Okay, you already have the mass of any 2 co 3 to be 5.53. Okay, multiply by 100, divide by the percentage of the mixture. Okay, that gives us that 6.5 of any 2 So, what will be the mass of Na what? NaNO3 in the mixture? Of course. Let's look at how to calculate that. Just to subtract it, you have 15 minus the mass of what of Na2CO3 you're going to have 9.4 gram of NaNO3 did you get that before me quickly all right let's go to question number two question number two says A is 0 0.1 more per dmq of what of HNO3 B is containing 8.0 gram of a mixture of Na2CO3 and NaNO3 okay you follow the same route uh that's the same Almost the same questions. You have a, a table of value. Let's really look at the question, uh, the expected questions. They say, concentration of B in mole per dmq, mass of Na2 in 250, mass of NaNO3 uh, B in the mixture, and percentage purity of Na2CO3, percentage impurity of NaNO3. So let's really look at that, how to solve that problem. Question of B in mole per dmq, you use Carvana, when we use Carvana, look at all our parameters, then you substitute correctly, then you have your CB to be 0 0.0522 more per DMQ. Remember three, your three significant figure. All right. Now, question number two. Mass of Na2 CO3 in 250. Look at it. So our molar mass is 106. And we are going to be using this formula that say N is equal to CV over 1000 of course you know our n is equal to mass over molar mass your n is equal to m over what m m that's the formula we are using here so my mass is what i'm looking for and my molar mass is 106 my conch of uh, b more per dmq is 0 0.0522 you can see it there and they say in 250 so i put my two as my volume divided by this so when i substitute that i make my mass of the formula i'm going to have 1.38 gram okay per dmq okay that's an alternative way of solving that questions okay if you just follow me closely let's see whether we get the same thing so you can first of all calculate the uh, mass in gram per dmq using a uh, condition in mole per dmq equals to condition in gram per dmq over molar mass if you do that okay, 5.53 so 5.53 now in 1000 cmq so x now in 250 cmq so where you cross multiply that they're going to have the same answer 1.38 gram per dmq did you get that any method that you understand is also applicable all right let's look at question number three under this question the mass of any no3 in b in the mixture so the mass of the mixture is 8.0 all right and mass of na2 is what is 1.3 so when you minus it my subtractors are going to have 6.62 gram of any 
NO3. That will be the mass of uh, any NO3. All right. Question four. Percentage purity of Na2CO3. Percentage purity formula is pure over impure multiplied by 100. So our purity of Na2CO3 uh, answer is 1.38 divided by the total uh, impure is the mass of the uh, mixture of both the Na2CO3 and NaNO3. So the percentage of Na2CO3 was 53.3% of sodium carbonate. Now, question number five now. Percentage impurity of NaNO3. Impurity is what? Impure minus pure over impure multiplied by 100. So our impure is 8 and our uh, pure is 6.62 divided by impure. So our impurity is 17.25 of NaNO3. Question number three. A is a solution of triazonitrate. Uh, five acids. Why B is a solution of uh, containing 2.45 gram of anhydrous sodium triazocarbonate 4 in 250 of the solution? Okay, put it into the bullet and try to it against 25. We are using 25, and uh, we are using the same uh, table of value as explained. Our total value will be 26.10. So let's look at the question uh, expecting in this one. Calculate the condition of B mopa dem Q, condition of A mopa dem Q, condition of A in grappa dem Q, and the volume of the gas evolved in the reaction at the STP. Of course, the volume, the gas revolve is. All right, let's look at the first solution. First solution is to find a way to convert 250 cmq to gram per dmq, and this is the method to use. That's 2.45 gram in 250x in 1000. When you do that, you're going to have 9.8 gram per dmq. So you cannot use your formula which says conky more per dm because you can't grab you over molar mass. Uh, molar mass is 106. So 9.8 divided by 106 give you 0.0925. This serves as our what? CB. So the next question we are going to calculate at the condition of A, you're going to use our cavana. So when we should do correctly, you have 0 .0, 0, uh, 0 0.177 more per dmq. That's serving as our what? CA. Okay. okay, let's look at the question of E in gram per dmq. I want to calculate your molar mass of HNO3. Okay, it will be 1 plus 14 plus 16 times 3, giving us 63.0 gram per dmq. Using that formula, you are going to uh, cross multiply. Your value of A, 0 0.17 multiplied by 63, giving us 11.5 gram per dmq of A. Let's look at question number four. Calculate the volume of the gas involved in the reaction. Okay, I decided to use a formula that says N is equal to CV over 1000. So, be able to convert my mole per dmq of B, C is of B, to ordinary mole so that I can relate it to my balanced chemical equation. So I have this, of course, in one dmq. I have that. So from uh, the balanced chemical equation, one mole of Na2CO3 produces what? 22.4 cmq of CO2 gas. So 0 0.0925 mole of Na2CO3, of course, produces x so cross multiply. When you do that, you have this uh, to be 2.07 dmq of the gas evolved. Let's look at the last question. Okay. Now, A is a solution of 0 0.0693 more per dmq of HNO3. Why B is a solution containing 0 0.0398 more per dmq of triazocarbonate 4? Of course, there is no specificity of the type of triazocarbonate 4 here, whether it's K2CO3, whether it's Na2CO3. So, we don't actually know our base in this question. So, the same... Uh, Procedure and uh, using the same title value, so 26.10. So let's look at the expected question. So first question says number of mole of acid in the average title, number of mole of transcarbonate 4 in B, mole ratio of acid to base 
given that the B contains 7.2 of additive trans carbon H4, calculate the condition of uh, B in gram per DMQ and molar mass and percentage of water of crystal of hydration in, in B. So let's quickly look at the solution. So here we have to calculate the number of molar of acids in the average data. They're going to be using N is close to CV all over 1000. So what is our number of molar of acid? This is a quantity of acid mole per DMQ. This is a total value of the acid. So our final answer is a number of mole of acid 0 0.0181 uh, mole of A. So we've got to now let's look at B. So in B, we're going to use the same formula number of mole N is equal to C V over 1000. For this time around, is in the base. The base we have is 25. And the value given is this. So we have 0 0.009. 95 mole of what of B now to calculate the mole ratio of acid to base is the mole ratio of acid is mole ratio of what base so divide by the smallest 0 0.00995 is the smallest divide both by the smallest but when we do that we want to have our two ratio one okay two ratio one it means that uh the acid that is reacted with the base when you balance the chemical equation, you're going to have two ratio one as your number of mole of acid is two, number of mole of base is one from the balanced chemical equation. So let's proceed to B part of the question. Given that B contains seven point uh, two gram per dm cubic meter, calculate the conversion of another sort of B in gram per dm cube. Of course, we already have a molar mass given to be what to be one o six. So use that formula. So cross multiply. You have been given this value. They are going to have 4.2 gram per dm cube of B. So we are going somewhere. Percentage of water of crystallization of B. Now we are giving this from the question. So minus the value obtained, then you have 2.98 gram uh, as a mass. So what is the percentage of water of hydration? So we're going to have nine, 2.98 divided by 7.2 multiplied by 100. So we're going to have a percentage to be 41.4%. Uh, Thank you for watching my video. And uh, if you find this video helpful and you want to see it, you want the channel to grow, I can't number I can't detail it there. Thank you for uh, watching my video. See you in my next video. Signing out. God bless you.